this is Ed Farinelli and you're watching Sailing Joy. On today's video, I will cover all the necessary options that we will need to buy once we take delivery of our new Lagoon 46. If you have missed, I have created two videos that goes into detail about the factory options. Pretty much all of the options you can buy directly from a Lagoon and they can install in your vessel before you take delivery of it. But just in case you have missed any of those videos, I'll leave a link on the description of the video below. The process of buying commissioning a new boat is a very interesting one. I don't know if you have ever been to a boat show where you have the opportunity to walk through in one of those new boats. And before you go in, you see a big sign with the base price of the boat that you're just about to step in. The first time that I saw that base price, my reaction was, wow, that is a very good price. In our case, a Lagoon 46, the base price is $448,000. And that price includes almost nothing. Next step, which I call the second phase, is where you select and configure all of the factory options that you can have on your boat. During the second phase, you will select items like air conditioning, water maker, all types of electronics, like uh, the type of chart plotters that you want installed in your boat, radar, sounder and other options as well as all the boat premium finishes that you can add on in this phase and after all this is said and done you can plan to spend an additional 50 percent of the base price on options in our case we selected many options and we end up spending an additional two hundred and thirty thousand dollars All of these options will be factory installed and when it's time for boat delivery you should expect them to have it all ready for you. This brings us to the third phase of preparing your boat to sail away. During this phase you will focus on all items that you cannot buy from the boat manufacturer. And I'm talking about all options that still need to be installed or bought and included on your vessel. This list of additional items can vary drastically from one person to the other. I have created a spreadsheet with the description, price, and some pictures of these items. This spreadsheet contains 16 tabs that covers items related to safety and security at sea, that is divided by rescue equipment, onboard pharmacy, repair equipment, electronic sail repair, spare parts, which is divided up by engine, generator, air conditioning, and various spare kits, additional electronics, charts, and solar panels that we want to be installed afterwards on our vessel, complete list of items for kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom, small items needed like bucket, cleaning materials, etc. It's very easy to forget items that you need when commissioning a new boat. And this spreadsheet helps me make sure I do not forget anything. Also, some people prefer to install a gensat, AC and water maker after they take delivery of their vessel and possibly save some money or have the added flexibility to use a different brand or size. This is not our case. Items were also quoted and included on the spreadsheet in case you are curious of their price and want to decide to install it after delivery. Here are the main items we chose for the first category and first tab of the spreadsheet called safety and security at sea. On this tab you can find an extensive list of items that go from small buckets passing through items that we decided to upgrade like 
our anchor. Lagoon offers only one option of anchor, a delta anchor. From my previous experience, this boat could definitely use a heavier anchor with additional chain in order to provide us with peace of mind during those heavy wind nights, deep anchorage sites that you need more chain. And having a spare anchor to us is something we want. So the original Delta anchor will become our spare anchor. On this tab, I have also included all safety equipment. And yes, you need to buy all life jackets equipped with strapping, flashing lights, and lifesavers floating devices. Your life raft also needs to be carefully selected. And we chose ours for up to eight people, containing some food inside, water, and a GPS. All fire extinguishers are also up to us to install, and we will have six of them throughout the boat along with fire blankets that can help extinguish fire quickly in a case of emergency. You can also see on this tab items that took us about six months to buy last time when we had our Lagoon 42, because we did not put a list like this together, and countless trips to the marine store. I truly believe this list will save us so much time possibly some money by provisioning and buying all items before we go take delivery of our new vessel. The next key tab on our options list is the spare parts tab, where we gather all of the spare kits we plan to buy, divided up by engine spare parts, composed of filters, belts, gaskets, engine oil, coolant, and so on. Our generator will also have a spare parts kit with similar items, but specified for our Gensat Onan of 11 kWA. Preventive maintenance will take place between 50 and 150 hours, and the second one at 250 hours of use. Down here, we have another tab. We have a variety of spare parts kits for our sales and electrical. The toolbox tab serves as a guide for us to put together a list of tools necessary to have on board. We created two tabs. The first one, if you're planning to do coastal cruising, and the second one for oceanic cruising, where a more complete toolbox is required. You never know when something bad can happen, so having a full pharmacy on board is a requirement for both ocean cruisers and coastal cruisers. We have selected a more complete type of pharmacy to have on board. But we have created two tabs here on our spreadsheet that compares prices and list of medicines required. I also highly recommend taking a first aid course as it prepares you to make use of the medicine on board and take charge whenever medical attention is needed. On top of our electronic charts installed on our chart plotter, it is advised, if not required, to have a printed chart and tools to be able to provide you with guidance in case of a power shortage or simply to keep track of our nautical miles during a crossing. A tab including the necessary items for your kitchen, including some photos. And this one, Patricia will be fully responsible for all as well as all items related to the cabins and the bathroom. We have also created tabs that take in consideration items like vacuum cleaners, blenders, and etc. Option items related to all types of covers and cockpit or helm station closure have been created.
some people do not buy a dinghy from manufacturer. So in this tab, we put together different types of dinghy and engines for comparison purposes. We have selected the center console Highfield 340 with a 25 horsepower Honda engine. We wanted to have a better dinghy this time around as we plan to use it a lot. As our Lagoon 46 have been extensively optioned at factory, we will only have a few options in this category of electronics to install in our boat. A Wi-Fi booster will be installed at the mast alongside a 4G, 5G antenna booster extender to amplify our mobile phone signal, getting us the possibility to have coverage many miles away from the coast. Satellite phone antennas and a fixed set phone will not be an option for us at this time, but we could consider for the future. We will go for a simpler solution called Iridium Go that worked very well in the past and serves its main purpose to download weather forecast when out in the ocean. We are super excited about our new boat. Sharing our steps along the way hopefully helps other sailors to prepare for that long journey. A link for the information discussed on this video can be found on the video description below.